Hello, my name is Carl Castro. I'm one of the exhibiting artists dito sa Metamorphosis Exhibit sa Nexus Gallery. These four works are from a series called Unboxing Time. I started working on them during the pandemic. Uh, nung panahon na yon, I didn't really have um, art materials, um, much art materials, and as much as I wanted to make art, uh, I had to make do with my limitations. So what I did was I parang scanned all these um, uh, food packaging, delivery wrapping, uh, mga printouts from my studio work, um, and I kind of kept track of them and started scanning them um, regularly para ba siyang visual journal but at the same time it documented yung movement ng goods um, and consumption ko during that time and over time I think it will be a kind of time capsule uh, where you know I'm sure the packaging will change and the scenery will change yun so uh, that's the whole kind of idea behind the series my name is Kelly Maestro I'm a Japanese American artist living in the Philippines currently <laughs> I make drawings, paints, installation work, and for the show here at I Academy, I set up one of the installation pieces I have, which is so we can get away, and it's a collage of heat-treated, manipulated thermoplastic, zip ties, tubing, fishing weights, lights, pill capsules, a lot of assortment of items to create sort of an atmosphere. The viewer can take what they can want from it, but. My intention is to kind of create sort of like landscape or sort of space in order for a viewer to be kind of spirited away, like swept away. The play, the play of the artist and the medium as a way to interact with the viewer. So viewers have to walk and dodge things and move through the space. Like there's little, little, little weights, little weights that hang from the ceiling. Things that kind of disorient or force the viewer to become physical with the work. This work was actually created during the pandemic and I think maybe it was a huge shift for myself and maybe that's the metamorphosis of it from a personal point. Like making these works was a huge departure from what I made previously. I'm really happy. <laughs> it took like two and a half to three years to really conceptualize, build all the material and actually set it up. So I'm I'm quite happy the students are here to see it. Hi, my name is Clarence Chun, and uh, born in Manila, uh, and then raised in the States. Uh, my work is technically these, uh, and they're about time, speed, and memory, uh, dealing with my everyday life and things like that I record, playing video games, uh, watching TV, uh, looking out the window, taking photos, just to remember the things that, uh, what I do on a daily basis and things like that. So. And it also deals with paradoxes, uh, where my work is about speed, but it takes a long time to make. Dealing with metamorphosis, uh, my work has always been about change. So in graduate school, although my friends wanted to make all, they kept trying to develop a concept that will ride their career for the next 10, 15 years. But I wanted a concept where it will change as I change as an artist, as a person and things like that. So it's very important that my work changes as I change. The things that I see, the things that I experience and stuff like that goes into the work as I grow up as a person, as a, also as an artist. Hi, I'm Yuri Tan and this work behind me is my series entitled Costume Party. Um, this series started as a reflection of my experiences as a young girl growing up and how I've kind of reconsidered those experiences in a way. Um, there's always, of course, a fondness looking back at old photos, but there's a part of me that always kind of um, felt weird about it and, and the sense that um, my experiences I see now in hindsight are actually so gendered. Um, and in the series, I try to reimagine old photos that I took as a child or photos of me that were taken by my parents or family. Um, and it's kind of resulted into this reimagining of those memories or a retelling of them um, and kind of a subversion of these ide ideas of girlhood, femininity, as well as domestic labor. To young artists just starting out or maybe students um, I hope you don't stop experimenting and um, cling to this idea of style while you're young 
because this is kind of your time where you can try anything and not be stuck in a box. Don't burn yourself out too easily and just have fun. Um, style, uh, this idea of iconography being iconic, it will follow as time goes on and you do what you enjoy. Advice to younger artists is uh, it's an advice that Robert Rauschenberg gave me when I, when I saw him as a kid. It says, uh, court your curiosity. Thank you. I don't know, just be playful. I mean, art is a form of play, and I think you never get old when you make it, and you never like lose a sense of curiosity or anything. So yeah, I think that's really, uh, that's all. <laughs> so you will learn a lot of um, art techniques and design techniques in school. Uh, most of these will, of course, be commercial in orientation because you have to make a living. But um, in order to carve out your own path as an artist, you have to figure out really what it is that you is meaningful to you, ano yung mahalaga sa yon, uh, and ano yung parang ano yung tingin mo maambag mo sa sa mundo or sa discussions, particular na issues. Uh, and then I think the the approach, the medium, the style will follow depending on that. Yun. So be open to uh, learning lots of new techniques. Um, be open to exploring different um, subject matter and causes that mean uh, a lot to you. And don't forget na pag graduate nyo, uh, mas mahirap yung buhay and uh, mas titingkad yung pangailangan na alamin nyo talaga kung ano yung um, parang paglalaanan nyo ng buhay nyo in the next few years. Ayun lang. Salamat.